Ever wonder how to turn your smartphone into a professional webcam for your live streams without spending a single gosh darn penny? Well, let me show you how. The very first thing that we need to do in order to know how to use our phone as a webcam in OBS Studio for free is one, open up OBS Studio as seen here and grab your smartphone, duh, it's in the freaking title guys, come on. And then we're also gonna use a free website called video.ninja. Now I'm not sponsored by them at all, but if you guys are wondering where I got this cool starting soon screen, I actually got it from my streamer starter pack in the description down below. But anyways, let's go over to video.ninja to get started. I'll leave this linked down in the description below so you guys can easily find it. So the cool thing about Video Ninja is that you actually don't have to download or do anything. No signing in. Basically just really easy. You just go and make a room and then do it. But before we add our camera, there are a couple things just to make sure in case you guys run into issues. But make sure to start OBS Studio in administrator mode, which if you didn't know, just go to the OBS icon on your desktop, right click, and then run as administrator. If the video fails to load in OBS Studio or it just is blank, just try disabling hardware acceleration. And there's a little guide there. And then if you guys use an Apple M1 chip, then you guys can follow that as well. But enough of that jibber jabber, let's go into the create a room. So click on create a room, and then we're gonna call it a room name. Literally you can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it that. You can make a password here. Then you can choose your preferred video codec, which you can feel free to do there. I'm just gonna leave it on default though. And then we're going to enter the room's control center in the director's role. So click on that. So this might look a little scary, but I promise there's not a lot we have to do. You see this invited guest link right here? We are going to copy this link. So I just left clicked it and it's gonna to copy to the clipboard or you can click this copy link button. And now you're gonna send this to yourself so you can send it to yourself via email or Facebook Messenger because you wanna open it up on your phone's browser. So I sent the link to myself through Facebook Messenger, but I'm not gonna open it through Facebook Messenger. I'm actually just gonna copy that URL and I'm gonna post it into Google because we wanna do this in a browser and the Facebook Messenger browser is really wonky. So I just copied and pasted the link into my little browser in Google. Google Chrome on my phone. It asked me for the password that we set earlier. So I'm gonna quickly put that. And now we're brought with this. Let me bring this in full screen. Now it says join room with camera or screen share with the room. I'm gonna click on join room with camera. So we're gonna click on that. Then it's gonna tell us that it wants to use our camera and microphone on there. Sorry for the reflection. We're gonna hit allow. So I'm gonna hit allow. It's gonna start signing up here. So as you can see now, it's using our video footage on our phone. And so it's using the selfie mode. And oh God, I look awful. Wow, look at the bags in my eyes. That's not good. But you can see a couple things here. So the top one in the middle, sorry for the reflection, we got the video source. So that is, it's using the selfie cam right now. And it's got the audio source using our microphone. And then it has an audio output destination. So both of those are on default. I'm gonna change the video source from camera two. We got a bunch on this smartphone in particular. We got camera two facing front and then facing back, facing back. I'm gonna try camera two facing back. And this looks pretty good. I believe the difference between camera like zero and two is the fact that I believe this is the 0.5 lens. So it's like more zoomed out. Whereas camera two zero facing back, I believe is just your standard, you know, camera. We're gonna go with just the standard camera. And then now that we've got that set up, I'm just gonna hit start. And so now if you can see here, it has just the like camera through our phone. And so now I'm gonna go back to video.ninja on our computer. And as you can see, we have the footage right here. So look at that, that's pretty cool. Now that we got our footage, we need to send this into OBS Studio or Streamlabs or whatever streaming software you're gonna use. We're simply just going to hit this copy link under the capture a group scene option. So we're gonna copy that link. And now we're gonna go inside our streaming software. So let's go over to OBS Studio. Once you're in your streaming software here, we're gonna go and add a new source. So click on the plus button and we're gonna add a browser source. You can feel free to call this whatever. I'm gonna call it phone cam. And then we're gonna hit okay. And now we're gonna paste in that URL that we just got. And now I'm gonna change the width to 1920 and I'm gonna change the height to 1080. Then I'm gonna enable control audio via OBS. So that way, if you wanna use your phone's microphone, you totally could. And then we're going to click on refresh browser when scene becomes active. So we're just gonna do all of that. And then we're simply going to hit Okay, now for my Windows security, it said it's going to allow public and private networks to access that, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna hit allow. And as you can see, the webcam's already been added behind here, but you'll notice it is in the vertical resolution, which if you want, you could totally do that. And honestly, look at that. The latency is not even that bad. So that's pretty dope. But if you want to make it vertical, I'm gonna take my smartphone here and I'm just gonna turn it. So I'm gonna turn it sideways and boom, it's gonna automatically flip it to this. So look at that. So what we can do here, I'm gonna set that there. 
and let's put it there. So now we have, oh God, this is a very bad angle. So please excuse that, but I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Make sure that if your phone's auto rotate isn't on, just go into your phone and turn the auto rotate on. Normally you just like scroll down from the top, there's a little auto rotate button. And also you can scroll down under the audio sources since we did control audio via OBS. You can go and change the volume of this, or you can straight up just mute it if you don't wanna use it and you're using a microphone like I am, like a separate one, and you can do that too. So there's a lot you can actually do with this. If you wanna do it vertical, horizontal, or whatever you want. But I will say there are a couple things that I really like about this and a couple of things that I really don't like about this. The first thing that I do like is one, it's super cost effective, which means that you don't have to go spending a lot of money to do this because it's literally free. You got your phone already. You might as well use it, right? It's decently high quality depending on what your smartphone is. Like this is a pretty good image for what we have. It's really easy to use. It took us like a couple minutes to set up and it's super portable. So you can bring it on the go with you and it's wireless. Like literally I can just pick up my phone and bring it around here. Like if I wanted to have a keyboard cam, I just get a tripod and boom, I can just move it around easily. Like nothing's plugged in. I can easily just bring it around with me, which is super, super convenient. So for those reasons, I really like it. Now I love all that good stuff, but unfortunately with the good comes the bad. And some of these might be a deal breaker for you depending on your situation. Number one is that sometimes there can be a decent amount of latency between this because if we're using a wireless connection, there's gonna be a latency introduced to your footage. So if you're noticing, there is a little bit of lag between this and that could be if you're on data or Wi-Fi or just how strong your connection is, but everyone's situation is gonna be different, whether you're over in the United States or if you're international and just how your servers are. So this could be a problem for you or it could not be a problem for you. Number two is that the quality can definitely vary. Like if you have very good quality like this, like I'm cool with it, but there's a chance if your connection isn't as strong, it's gonna look like a Minecraft character and it's gonna depend on your internet connection, your strength of it, and your phone capabilities. Also for your phone, since you're using it on your phone, your phone's gonna be tied up, which means you can't text your friends, brain rot, TikTok reels, or be able to like, you know, do other things on your phone, like call your mom, I guess. I don't know, I'd do that, but everyone should call their mom. Go call your mom right now after this video. It's also likely going to cause your phone battery to drain. So you might wanna plug it in and charge it, but that would make it a little less wireless, if you know what I mean. Your phone could likely get warmer or hot when you're doing this because it's doing a lot of work. So you might wanna keep it in a well-ventilated area or do it for short amount of times. And then you might run into some compatibility issues depending on your phone. Then you might run into audio delay with the latency introduced. That's one reason why you might wanna just use your phone's microphone because that way your audio should be on point. Whereas if you're using a microphone separately and your phone camera in this case, then there might be some delay. So you'd have to go into the audio delay settings inside your streaming software to match that up, which can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. And then obviously you're not gonna have as much control over the settings of your phone as you are just a true dedicated webcam. So some of these might be deal breakers for you and some might not, but ultimately I prefer using a dedicated webcam like the Insta360. I'm using two of them right now, literally for this scene. So we got this scene and then I got this scene. I'm using two of these bad boys and I love this webcam and I'd recommend it to everyone Everybody, and I have an entire video covering it right over here. So give this a watch. My name's Cody and I will see you in the next one.